Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video on the channel where we are starting a brand new series where we're going to be reviewing the best formations in FIFA. So we're going to be starting off with this 3-4-1-2, but if you want to see more of these going forwards, make sure you do drop a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as well if you're new to the channel and find these videos useful. But this is the team we're going to be using for this team, so it's nothing too crazy because I don't want it, I don't want it to be about the players, I want it to be about the formation, so I don't want to use a team that's got like massively high rated players because then if it plays really well it might seem like it's the players so I've not gone for anything too crazy I've gone for a fairly standard sort of team these are the tactics that I have chose for this three back formation it's going to play press on possession lost it's kind of standard on the width a little bit deeper because it's going to mainly be a counter attacking formation especially with the personnel with players like Werner and Sancho a lot of pace so it's going to be more of a counter attacking formation I've got possession on the offensive style because when I'm on the offensive I do want to be on possession I like to hold the ball and again standard sort of on the width and these are the, the instructions that I've gone for with the players. So we've got comes for crosses for Areola. Obviously all the uh, obviously all the centre backs, Militao, Paulista, and that are going to be on stay while attacking. Goretzka, man mark, stay back while attacking and cover centre. Dembele, come back on defence, stay wide, get in behind, stay on the edge of the box for Sancho as well. Havertz we're going to have on stay on the edge of the box and cover centre. The same with Vidal and the two strikers, stay central and get in behind. So that is the instructions, tactics and team. Let's get into the gameplay and see how they played. So going into the gameplay, this team was, uh, this formation, my mistake, was very, very good. I, I did like it. You can see we're getting it five stars on the attack, four stars on the midfield, two stars on the defence. Overall, um, the attack was very good. We created a lot of chances. You know, obviously this sort of formation... You're going to create a lot of opportunities. You know, you've got a lot of attacking players, two strikers, two wide players that get involved, and your two central sort of midfielders do get involved as well. So we created a lot of chances. The midfield was fairly solid. The defence, as you can kind of guess, why a lot of people don't use three back formations, uh, and especially in FIFA, you know, wingers are very prominent. So having this sort of formation where you've got no wingers. Um, it's obviously going to cause you some issues and it did it did you know let's make no bones about it you can see that sort of areas where your center back doesn't really want to be getting dragged out to so your center backs definitely need pace um, because they're going to have to get across and cover also your central midfielders need to have crazy crazy stamina because we're playing on press on possession loss um, your central midfielders and your wide midfielders in this case Sancho and Dembele those kind of four, so in, in this team, Sancho, Dembele, uh, Goretzka, they need to have like mad stamina because they're going to be getting so, they're going to be getting across, they're going to have co to cover so much ground, so they need to have like really high stamina. Um, so that's definitely a key. You can see just that wide position is just so open all the time because you're asking someone like Dembele to get back and almost play like a right back in defence, but then be able to get up the field and give you uh, and, and some score you some goals and give you some opportunities as well. So. Your wide players need to have some crazy stamina and so does your midfielders because they're going to have to do so much running in this formation. This is a really nice uh, effort by uh, by Dembele. I mean, look at that skill. It completely sells the guy. And we were, we were unlucky not to score uh, with Havertz. But yeah, the defence, obviously not having fullbacks isn't ideal. And most people in FIFA do use um, wing formation. So this would be a very good formation to use against people that use narrow formations. So if somebody's using like the 4 one 2 2 narrow, this would be a very good formation to counter it because most of your attacks are going to come down the center and the guy's not got any width to be able to exploit your lack of fullback. So it's a very good formation overall. I did like it. Gave it a three stars overall. So, but it did play very well. I think it was definitely a, a formation I'd recommend you guys use. It may be if you're losing in a game, if you're like um, sort of three down, or, you know, if it's 3-1 at 70 minutes, I definitely recommend it would be a good formation for you to try. But that is it for the video, guys. So if you do want to see more, make sure you do drop a thumbs up. If you want to see the next episode, hit that subscribe button as well if you found it useful. That's all for today, guys. Have an awesome day. I'm out.